Grafham Water in Cambridgeshire attracts around 250,000 visitors a year who come to the reservoir for walking, cycling, fishing and sailing. But it's also home to an unwelcome visitor from overseas, the killer shrimp. We have here some samples of shrimps that we caught from the reservoir earlier. Um, as you can see, there's a range of sizes in there. We do have um, from the full grown, sort of almost three centimetres, to very small young, which can be very, very tiny. With the help of the Environment Agency, reservoir owners Anglian Water were keen to make sure that the killer shrimp made it no further into the UK. Fishing and sailing was a, were, was a key uh, worry for us, and so what we now do is we talk to each fisherman as they come in, they all sign in and sign off the site. We've adapted the way we, we operate, so we've included in our boats nets and drogues and any element of um, the sport that would traditionally be brought to the water and taken away by the fishermen, we try to, to reduce that so that they can come with essentially their fishing rod and their Wellington boots and fish and then we provide a wash down station and all the information they need to make sure that they're thoroughly cleaned off before they go home. It does have a voracious appetite, so we really do need all recreational users to help support us in limiting the spread of the shrimp um, by following the three simple steps of check, clean and dry. We've worked very closely with the Environment Agency in Anglian Water to ensure that as far as is reasonably possible nothing leaves the site that could possibly be contaminated and we've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of research on spotting where these things uh, get onto boats, how they're transported on boats and how then we can eliminate them from boats and, and the end of that is a brand new facility we have here for washing down the very large numbers of boats that we have at this club. The Check Clean Dry campaign is spearheaded by DEFRA and we, the Environment Agency, are working with them and all other recreational user groups to raise awareness of the campaign and the biosecurity message that it brings for all invasive species. But here at Grafham it's obviously of particular interest to us because of the killer shrimp. Biosecurity may sound a bit scary, but it isn't. It's very simple and straightforward. All people need to do is when they exit the water to thoroughly wash their equipment down, check it over for any invasive species and to ensure that it is thoroughly dry before being used again.